Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this time I will be doing a review of Wolford Satin Touch 20 Stay Ups in the color white. I could not pass up on this white shimmery shade and I am so glad that I got them. They're so pretty in person. And as the name implies with these stay ups, they are thigh highs that stay up. They do not require a garter belt, so which is quite convenient. And let's just take a look at the waistband on these. So it's a nice long waistband and these are like a floral lace with scalloping. And on each side there is a Wolford logo inside of the lace. It says Wolford. And if I open this up, you can see, well I shouldn't be so confident to say that you can see it because these are white and it's hard to probably see even with a good camera, but there are four bands of silicone. So take my word for it. <laughs> And that silicone is what keeps these up on the thigh. So there are two things that I always look for when I go shopping for thigh highs. One of them is whether they stay up. And the other one is, you know, even though if they stay up, do they really push into the thigh? Do they really push into the skin? Because that's really uncomfortable. And what I can say about these Satin Touch 20 Stay Ups on me, they do stay up all day. I've worn them numerous times and I have never had them fall down and I do not have to adjust them or anything like that. They do stay in place and they do go with the contour of my leg. So as you may notice with the actual nylon itself, that Wolford Satin Touch 20, um, and also I mentioned this with the Neon 40s in my other review video, that the nylons tend to go with the contour of your leg and your foot. Well, the same thing with the thigh in the thigh band um, with these stay ups. So that is really important. So there is no pushing into the skin and creating discomfort. In this review, I also want to provide measurements for the thigh highs that I got, and I'm hoping it will be helpful. I just want to note that this is a rough estimate. These are not official estimates from the website or the company or anything like that, and I am not, you know, holding the nylon taut or anything like that, so this is a very loose estimate of the length of the thigh high the waistband and the circumference so that way it just can maybe help someone if they are looking into these and are concerned about size. I will tell you that I use the size chart on Wolford's website and I found that it works fine for me and I will tell you let's see so from the top part <laughs> of the lace down to the toe I get 72 centimeters and this is a size small. Um, I am not holding the nylons taut, I'm just loosely sitting them on a surface and then measuring them that way. For the length of the lace band, from the highest scallop point down to its matching point, I get about 10 and a half centimeters. That would be important to know if you are wondering how much lace you need to cover if you are wanting to wear this with a skirt and a dress and you are concerned about making sure the lace is covered because this is a very long but very pretty lace band. And then the whole circumference of this lace band at the highest point I am getting about 42 centimeters. So I hope this is helpful so far. I am ready to go ahead and put on the thigh highs, show you the finished look, and give you my final thoughts. I'll be right back. 
I have slipped on the Satin Touch 20s in white. And I have chosen a heel by Karl Lagerfeld. This is a open-toed high heel in black patent. You may recall that I wore these with one of the outfits in my other video where I review Wolford Neon 40s in electric pink. I think these heels go really well with these nylons as well. As you can see, these nylons are very sheer and you can see my toes through them. So I make sure to have a really good pedicure. Um, and some may say it's a fashion faux pas to wear nylons with open toed heels, but I really like the look here. And I also think these would look great with a closed toed shoe. So let me go ahead and stand up and let's see the finished look. This is the finished look with the black simple short dress that I had on earlier in the video and the strappy Karl Lagerfeld patent, black patent heel. And I think the black patent goes really well with the white shade of this nylon because these nylons also have a nice shimmer to them. As you can see, they are cool toned and not a warm toned white. So they're not ivory, they're more of a true white. And I would say one of the big tips that I would give if you are trying to hide the lace tops of these thigh highs, this is about as short of a dress or skirt as you can go because otherwise any shorter it would actually show the lace. So these thigh highs are great for this length of dress or skirt or even pencil skirts for work. I think this is a really fun look and it makes me want to explore more on how to style white nylons. So let's get back to finishing up the review. So I'm giving you an up close view of the white satin touch 20 stay ups in natural daylight. I think this white shade is so gorgeous with the shimmer of the satin touch 20s. This can be a really nice evening look or you can keep it strictly daytime doesn't matter just depends on how you style these i think these are a really fun stylish way to wear white nylons these are not your typical white opaque tights and i really look forward to wearing them in the future so i had a great time making this video and doing this review these white satin touch 20 stay ups are so stunning and if I had the chance to buy them again, I definitely would. I would say in the future, I would love to do a video on how to style white nylons and I would like to come up with more outfits. I know we only went over one look today, but I really wanted you to be able to see these white nylons and get a review of the Satin Touch 20 Stay Ups. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Later!